Unraveling the phrase, out to get someone. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, out to get someone. This expression can be tricky but is widely used in both casual and formal English. Understanding it will not only expand your vocabulary but also help you better grasp the nuances of English communication. Let's get started. The phrase, out to get someone, suggests that a person or group is making a deliberate effort to cause problems for someone else, often by making them look bad, sabotaging their efforts, or causing them direct harm. It's important to note that the intention is usually malicious or negative. This phrase captures a sense of targeted hostility or opposition. To grasp the concept better, let's look at some examples. 1. In the workplace, I feel like my boss is out to get me. She always criticizes my work in front of others. 2. In personal relationships, after the breakup, it seemed like he was out to get me, spreading rumors and lies. 3. In competition, the rival team is out to get our star player, trying to provoke him into making a mistake. These examples show how the phrase can be applied in various contexts, highlighting its versatility in expressing the idea of being targeted by someone else's actions or intentions. Understanding synonyms can help you recognize the same idea expressed differently. Here are a few. Targeting someone, having it in for someone, being after someone, each of these phrases conveys a similar sense of pursuit or hostility, though with slightly different connotations and usage contexts. It's crucial to use this phrase correctly to avoid misunderstandings. Here are a few tips. Consider the context. This phrase is best used in situations where there's clear evidence of targeted negativity. Be mindful of tone, since it implies negative intentions, Ensure your tone matches the seriousness of the accusation or observation. Know your audience. This phrase might be too informal or too charged for some professional or cultural contexts. Understanding the phrase, out to get someone, enriches your ability to express complex social dynamics in English. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about conveying thoughts, emotions, and intentions. We hope this video has shed light on this intriguing phrase and its usage. Keep practicing, and you'll continue to improve your English skills. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.